Technology is fundamentally changing our world in every space. And what's exciting about Emory's AI.Humanity initiative is that it embeds this revolutionary technology of artificial intelligence and machine learning into the things we care about. Well, AI is not magic. We're always afraid of what we don't understand. I think another element of AI.Humanity is trying to understand how does this fit into our lifestyle? What decisions are being made for us by our devices? Some of those decisions help us. Some of those decisions were probably something we should think about as well. And AI.Humanity is asking those kind of questions. How should it fit in? Emory is a place which has been committed to all of the disciplines and especially the traditional liberal arts disciplines for a really long time. And so this is a particular convergence of technology and the types of questions that humanities scholars are trained to ask. And so you need to be able to say, what are the new and exciting ways that, for example, computer scientists are learning how to analyze text? What kinds of things do they tell us? What are the scenarios in which they're best applied? What are their limitations? Where shouldn't they be employed? Emory represents a really interesting ecosystem where you have a world-class university, but you also have Emory Healthcare. So from an artificial intelligence perspective, this represents a huge opportunity to get the, the kind of large data sets that are required to build these AI tools to make these predictive decisions about who has a particular disease, who is going to respond to therapy and so on. And there's an opportunity to be more intentional in developing tools that don't benefit only a certain population but really apply across multiple different populations. The place where Emory can really be unique is trying to figure out how we should do things, not just doing things because we can. And it's an area that's moving really fast, so everyone's trying to do the next biggest thing. I think the second generation of that kind of work is settling in like, what's the best way to do these things? We live in a living lab that is our city, our state, our country, and our researchers and our students interact with this lab. Combine that with the incredible diverse student body that we have. It just is a very special place.